Before we get started, don't forget your opportunity to go one-on-one with me in a coaching session on Zoom. Message me on Instagram at dptubs. Hey everybody, welcome to another DP Tubs video. Today we're going to be working on a fiberglass crack repair and we're going to add a little bit of foam for support. As you can see here, I'm going to first push on the area around the crack and there's quite a bit of support here. I've even stood on it. So I'm going to drill a few holes, but first I'm going to make sure my drill bit is a little bit bigger than the diameter of the foam insert tube. And I'm going to be using the Great Stuff Big Gap Filler. Fills up to gaps three inches. I'm going to drill holes at the ends of the crack. And usually I'll do this and then see how deep of an area there is underneath. And here you can see it's probably maybe about a quarter of an inch before I hit the particle board or support of the substrate underneath. So I'm going to inject the foam in between that substrate and the fiberglass unit. But first I'm going to sand it with my orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper. So I'm going to go ahead and shake up the foam before I inject it. And once I put it through, I'm going to do my best to watch the foam as it expands a little bit and fills to see if it comes through the crack. If it comes through the crack, then I know it's filling the space underneath. It's hit a bottom area, so now I know the foam's going to expand up. All right, so as you guys have seen in some of my other videos, you don't have to do this, but I like to tape off around the crack before I go ahead and put on the Bondo glass. That way it just kind of contains me into working in this area so I don't go too far out or get too sloppy with my patchwork. All right, so I use actually use lacquer thinner to clean up some of the foam because it gets a little sticky around the area. I'll just take some lacquer thinner, put it on a paper towel, and then just wipe around the area to kind of smoothen it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up the Bondo glass. I'm using Bondo glass here because it's got the short strand hairs. I'm not going to use a mat or cloth because there's not too much flex in the crack. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Bondo glass, probably put a couple layers, and then after that I'm going to do a smooth skim layer of the Bondo glass. You can also use the Bondo all-purpose putty depending on how smooth you want it. I'm going to add the cream hardener across the diameter of the Bondo glass and then I'm going to go ahead and mix it up and then as I've mentioned in my other videos I go ahead and fold it over. I just keep folding it that way I get it completely mixed in. I used to just mix it like that without folding it and I would have issues with how long it would take to dry. So this actually helps speed up the drying process because the Bondo glass is fully mixed with the cream hardener. All right, I've just taped it up a little bit wider so I have a little more space to cleanly spread the Bondo glass. Same process of mixing and folding. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the orbital sander with 120 grit and just run it over the patch. I'm gonna actually go around the edges, try to feather them out. It's so important to get the edges real smooth so that way when you spray your primer or your top coat, you're not going to see any outlines of the patch. Thank you. 
As you're patching and sanding, it's always good to double check the area by putting pressure on it to make sure you're not going to get any fluctuation and a uh, crack won't reappear. After I've sanded and wiped down the area, cleaned it up of any dust, I'm going to go ahead and put a little more Bondo glass here. You can also put all-purpose putty. I just decided to use the Bondo glass because the patch itself isn't overly thick. So I'm going to go ahead and put a real, real strong coat, meaning I'm going to apply quite a bit of pressure to smoothen it out. Normally Bondo glass has a texture to it, the thicker the patches, so uh, that's why I'll usually run all-purpose smoothening putty over the top. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just tightly apply the Bondo glass to smoothen it out. I'm going to go ahead and sand it with 120 grit. Then after this, I'm going to sand it with about 400 and then 800 to smooth it out before I spray the primer. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the Zinzer one, two, three, and just spray over the patch. Helps neutralize the color as well. A lot of people might say, oh, the Zinzer, it's not water resistant. It's not supposed to be with water. I've been using this for years and it works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Zinzer, then jump over to the Rust-Oleum Satin Protective Enamel. I use the Shell White. That comes close to these fiberglass units. Even though it's not exact, it's a little bit more yellow but it tends to blend really well once it flattens out. And I've never had a complaint from a customer regarding the color because I always let them know ahead of time it's about a 90% match unless they get the exact color from the manufacturer for me to touch up with. And there you go, there's another fiberglass crack repair here on DP Tubs. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Also, make sure if you're interested in learning more, have one-on-one -on -one coaching, make sure to follow me over on Instagram at DPTubs.